Hello, welcome to Sonic Lab. I'm here with Lee from Presonus. Hey guys. You might have seen our feature that we've already done on the on Studio One 4.5, but here's another little piece about the Atom, which is a MIDI controller that integrates beautifully within Studio One. Absolutely. So the yeah. Atom is, it you know, it works perfectly with Studio One. Obviously, you plug mm -hmm. it in, you get a blue light, which means it's native mode. Native. Every, every, right. Yeah, everything's pre-assigned, ready to go. You didn't have to configure anything. Just ready to yeah. go. Um, okay. But great. it will work with other DAWs really okay. perfectly. So it'll work as a, as a MIDI controller. Exactly. Generic MIDI this will controller. come up as green and you'll have to assign a couple of things manually. Mm -hmm. But once you're done, you're done. Okay. Um, so all, <clears> all the writing that's on all the pads and all of this is going to sort of refer directly to using yeah. it with impact. Yeah, it's a really tightly integrated system. Uh -huh. um, and the Atom as well is it's, mm -hmm. it's a bus powered drum or controller. Can we open up uh, an instance of it? Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. and um, can you and you can browse from here then? Exactly. So what you've got is your navigation section. Yep. You've got your transport section. So Great. that's and there's secondary functions in here as well. So you've got like count in or click, record or save, play or loop, uh, stop, undo, things like that. Nice. Um, but on this side, you've also got lots of features like uh, edit. You can get into the edit page and move some MIDI notes around. You okay. can you can quantize from here. Um, you can jump into different banks of sounds as well within the impact. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll actually, I'll run a, run a track and show you what, how, okay. how it kind of works. Let's do that. Um, I should mention as well, it's velocity sensitive, but it's also pressure sensitive Great. pads as well. Great. So you can, your after touch, you can assign to different uh, parameters. So, so using it then, so with impact, impact is almost a bit like a kind of machine type of um, workflow or, you know, or like an MPC style of kind of workflow. Yep. Um, well, let's have a look at it because then yeah. that's probably <clears throat> the easiest. Okay, so you can do live recording with this. You're just typing in notes mm -hmm. as if it's a keyboard. So, and then you can also use step sequencing. So two different kind of ways you can work. Okay. Um, but if I hit setup and yeah. browser, right. opens my browser on screen and I can use oh, great. You can... these knobs to yeah. select my different things. Yeah. Uh, or I can also use the um, you can get up into down the things and like this. Open it up and get to the presets. So actually I'm looking for in impact let me see yeah i have a sound that i use here is minimal techno <laughs> <laughs> okay oh yeah so we open it yep it's open and ready to go mm -hmm. uh you'll see the colors as well on on the pads mm -hmm. are lined up with the colors here and if you change them on screen yep that will line up here so organize your kicks and snares mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. you need yep, yep. um so what i can do is i can also set up a loop from here mm -hmm. uh, i think really important as well is show hide oh nice because yeah. that, that can get in your way yeah, yeah. um uh, what I can do is set loop from here. Mm -hmm. If I move to a, lo uh, a location down the timeline mm -hmm. and I drop in my loop, so down drops in my loop. Yep. Part of it. And then I hit shift and play. Now my loop is turned on. Mm -hmm. um, shift click gives me count in. Nice. And then I'll do my click as well. Mm -hmm. So at least I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so let me see. I'll do do a quick recording so okay you'll see it uh, recorded in those notes mm -hmm. probably is kind of in time <laughs> not so bad it's got <laughs> human human feel but uh, what we can do is shift and nudge and that will quantize the notes you'll see them shifting on screen there uh, we can also get in and edit the notes so we can move across we can move up and down so you can see got virtually mouseless kind of uh, yeah i mean you pretty much here. can stay away from the mouse mm -hmm. um so you can also change velocities and stuff as well with the Great. individual notes so that that's live recording um if i go in and set up another instrument uh, shift edit will turn off my editor and this turns off my instrument um what i can do is record with patterns so step sequencing oh great yeah um, so again set up uh, now what I've done is I've assigned these eight, eight pads to be my own particular set of functions and you can do this and um, what I've done is drop in a pad here mm. or, or a pattern in here mm -hmm. and I can duplicate that pattern um, so if I hit edit we're starting to see a step, got, yeah. step sequence yeah. Yeah. view on drum machines yeah and you've seen it on the yeah. Atom as well. Yeah. So we're, we can move up and down we can select that's that. It. That's exactly it so Great. just drop, drop in my drop kicks. In. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then lay probably a snare is a good idea. <laughs> oh, kind of weird. Uh, and then hats. Yeah. So you know, you know how it works. <laughs> I 
So you can see it's really fast to get going. And again, I'm not touching the mouse. Um, get in, close my editor. And it's a bit of a bargain actually, because you can buy this for about, about 150 euros or thereabouts. Exactly, it's like 149 euros and obviously less than sterling. Mm -hmm. um, but it comes with... Studio One Artists. Okay, so <laughs> right. It's a bit of a no-brainer. It's, it's yeah. such good value mm -hmm. with the software. It's kind of, yeah. it's a complete system. Um, and if you think about work, that, this kind of workflow, if you use an external kind of unit yeah. that you have to work this way and then move into the DAW, mm -hmm. in this way, you're producing this way, but you're already in the DAW and yeah. you can start adding vocals and guitars already, you know? It's a very integrated workflow, isn't it? It's yeah, very it's, much. you're already in there. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're ready for mixing as well. It's mm. still in the same software. Great. Um, just to show you briefly, it, it doesn't do just drums, obviously. It's, um, this will, will trigger keys. So if I can find Mai Tai Synth. Oh yeah, Mai Tai Synth. Which That's I really, really like. Synth. Yeah, it yeah, sounds great. <laughs> Okay, so okay. you'll see, and then we can um, assign these four knobs as well with impact and, and mm -hmm. the Mai Tai Synth right. to different parameters and stuff. You basically just mm -hmm. turn the knob and then right click right. and it so will ask you to assign knob to, and that's basically good it. Yep. Um, uh, there's a setup button as well you can press, which allows you to adjust the, the feel and the touch of the atom. So okay. different velocity levels okay. and stuff like that. Um, and polyphonic aftertouch and things as well you can oh, set okay. for different things yeah. so it's pressure sensitive that you can assign <laughs> to, to different pra parameters so you'll see so it's it's designed to be you know studio production tool but also live performance there's a bit of feel to it yeah. as well okay, it's, that's good. it's really reactive yeah. um, okay so that's that's pretty much it and then you've you've, you've got some other features down here in terms of um, let me see, I'll turn on this, where we can hold down bank, mm -hmm. and now we can choose between, on the left hand side oh, of the yeah. screen, the You've different banks. banks. I mean, <clears throat> in these different banks, each yeah. sample can be triggered in a different way, mm -hmm. like one shots or loops yeah. Yeah. or toggle. Mm -hmm. So maybe bank A, you could have lots of toggle vocals or something like this. Mm -hmm. Bank B, you could have all of your drums. But my, my point is that you can have one impact, mm -hmm. one atom running an entire session. And I'm going to assume then that if you wanted to sort of put more loops, bring more loops in, you could go to the, you could go to the shop and get... get yeah, that's, get that's one way to do it. For, the, you, for it. You like, can also drag in folders of your own uh, okay. loops. Uh, I think if you hold in command and folder, it will actually auto map all of these uh, oh, right. loops onto the different pads for okay. you. That's, that's, that's cool. Um, and then you've got things like note repeat. So let me see, I'll turn back on my sounds. Uh, yeah, note repeat where mm. the last pad you touch. So for the, for the, for the people who like to work <coughs> in an MPC, kind of workflow but yep. are maybe looking to expand into a DAW this could this could actually be quite a good stepping stone for them because it's gives them this familiar way of working but the fact is it's so deeply integrated into the the studio on workflow it could it, I could see that being a really interesting yeah pathway. It, it is kind of best of both worlds you're, you're right. already in the editing mixing world mm -hmm. and the, pr the production type world excellent um, yeah so that's um, the Adam so this is available now yeah available now um, it comes bundled with Studio One Artists as well, so mm -hmm. you don't have to buy this software separate. It's uh, in euros, it's like 149 ish, but you know, it's in sterling's a little bit less. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, available now, and it's a complete package. Great. Yeah. Well, don't forget to watch our feature on Studio One 4.5 because we're going into quite a bit of detail about uh, all the goodness that's within there. <laughs> <laughs> but Lee, thanks for coming in. Yeah, and thank us. you very much. Cheers. Thank you, thank you guys.